Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm really excited about. I wanted to do this on Wednesday, but I didn't have time to get it up on Wednesday. So we're doing it today. Uh, we're doing a full face of nothing but the best discoveries of 2018. So what that means is that I'm gonna go through every single category of makeup and I'm gonna pick out my favorite favorite makeup product that I discovered in 2018 and I'm going to put it on and we're going to make this look with it. So I'm really excited you guys because I wanted to kind of give you my top number one favorite uh, for every category of makeup for 2018 you guys. It's, I can't believe it's already 2019. It's so crazy to me and this past year has been so like it's been so different and exciting and fun but there's been a lot of changes and it's been so emotional but it's probably my happiest year as well so it's, just, it's so crazy and I'm really excited to share these products with you guys it was so hard to pick out one and I'm not gonna lie in some categories I show you guys an alternative option I'm not gonna lie because you guys know so this video is gonna be really long but get your popcorn sit down get ready and uh, let's put some makeup on and create this look what do you guys think came out pretty good, right? So I'm really excited. Uh, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my videos. Make sure you hit the like if you like this video. Um, and comment below and tell me what is your favorite makeup of 2018. What's your favorite discoveries or just your favorites from any category that you guys really like? Give me suggestions because this next year I'm looking to try some new stuff. So let me know in the comment section and yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so let's get started. I'm not gonna really go through like what colors I'm gonna be putting on like for my eyeshadow look or anything like that, but I will be pointing it out as I'm talking about the product itself. Um, just so you know, and I will link everything down below in the description box as well. So, uh, eyeshadow primer. This is the Luscious Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base, and this is in the shade Nude. And, oh, hold on a second. We can't start with the eyes without the brows. So after lots of thought, it was a tie, almost a tie between this one and the ColourPop Brow Boss, but I'm not gonna lie, I do love this one and the fact that I always have to have a spare says a lot. So this is my natural brows, you guys, if you haven't seen them before. It's like I don't have a lot of brow and they actually look better than they did before. Um, for sure, but I've tried a lot of brow products this year and for sure this is just the best thing out there and I can truly say that. This is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. I love this so much. It gives you the most natural hair-like brows. It's very quick. Um, it's easy to use. If you like the powder, it has the powder on one side. I don't really use powder, um, but it's just so stinking good. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to apply it. And this is like one that I thought was all gone and then I kind of let it sit and it started working again. My favorite way to store this is like this, just sitting on my counter. And oh my gosh, this is just such a wonderful product because you can't tell that you even did anything. Like you can't tell that those aren't all natural, that your brows are not all natural, all perfect. It looks like you were born that way, like you just woke up in the morning and that's how your brow is. It doesn't look like you fill it in, that you shade it in. I actually have to add hairs on the outside of my brow and it looks so like natural and good. And I love it so much, so it's just so good. It just looks so hair-like and you can add like the powder to it if you want. I just love it so much. Like you can see the difference between this brow and this brow. It's like a big difference and it just looks so clean, especially in the front of my brows. I haven't found anything that made the front of my brows look as natural and hair-like as these, this does. It's just so good. Okay, so this year, as far as a brow gel, I love the NYX Control Freak. It was such a good find. I love it better than the ColourPop Brow Boss 
gel. Um, I feel like that one, first off, it came kind of dried out. I don't know if I just got a bad one, but it doesn't make me want to try it again. Um, and this one just always holds my brows in place all day and I don't have to worry about them because my brow hairs are so thin and so sparse, they can just go crazy and be sticking up every which way, super easy. So I absolutely love this. It really holds everything together. So my favorite eyeshadow primer of this year and of the next years and forever, I think, is the Luscious Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base in the shade Nude. This one gives you a nude shade, nude color tint. So if you have, like I have um, veins on my eyes, uh, this really does a good job of covering it up. You don't need a ton, like this much. Can you see how much that is? It's probably enough for both eyes. And it's just so good, so pigmented. Everything blends on top so smoothly. Okay, maybe I need it a little bit more. It's just such a good primer and uh, I have a lot of different primers up here on my desk and I'm not gonna lie I have like a brand new Milani one that I used one time and after trying this one I never used that one again I just love this primer so much I have like a Too Faced one I've tried all different ones but that one is absolutely my favorite all right I thought long and hard about eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadows that I've really been loving this month and I had several I was kind of like thinking about but if I'm being truly honest which one I just absolutely love and I'm sorry that I keep repeating myself it's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault I love it so much just because the color ranges you can't find palettes that have some of these same color shades out there you just can't um, my absolute favorite, and you guys already know, is Armed and Gorgeous. Like, you can't find a palette that looks like this out there. You can't. It's very difficult. And uh, this is just some of my favorite. This is my favorite palette out of the bunch. Uh, just in case you haven't seen it, here's the Ring the Alarm. Like, just everything in one. So, like, the Smoky Palette. Here's that Smoky Palette, Dark Magic. I just... And then if you want a purple palette, which is this one, Bling Boss. And I just love these so much. I have a full review, swatch, everything like that. I'll try to link it up in an iCard. I'm just going to, so this is the Dark Magic going into shh. Um, this palette, it's one of those palettes where, these palettes are one of those palettes that you have to really like warm up the shades and I know that sounds weird but it's because they're so compacted in there that you have to take your finger and like really swatch it and that's how I found is the best way to get the shadows to like really perform so once I swatched all of them like just one time kind of a little bit heavy but not too bad uh, I didn't find any trouble getting pigmentation or blend or anything like that. Like, I find that they're very nice to blend. They're easy to work with. I haven't had a single problem. And I know some of you guys say, well, it's because you got a good one. Maybe I did get a good one. I don't know. I haven't tried any other one. Maybe this one, I just got lucky and got a good one. But if you think that you got a bad one, still, I would still suggest to swatch it and to just see if that makes a difference. Um in how it how it is like how it swatches maybe it'll make a difference I don't know but I really love these palettes I think they are absolutely absolutely amazing so uh I couldn't not mention this maybe like a warmer eye I'm going into smooth criminal from the uh armed and gorgeous I've used this so much and I still have it memorized the difference between Armed and Gorgeous because Armed and Gorgeous is this one, which is my favorite one. And you kind of see that. And Bling Boss, I know which one that one is, but the Ring the Alarm is the one that's mostly reds. And I keep, but they're reds and oranges. So I keep forgetting between Ring the Alarm and Armed and Gorgeous, um, like the name. So when I do a tutorial, like I, I have to look at the packaging using a blender brush on my lid. I know it's weird, but maybe I'll go into like this access color and blend that lightly like up here. Just lightly. So it's slightly peeking through. Oh. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna get into this inside job, which is like a green. Go right close to the lashes here. And then blend it out. Look at all that look. Actually, maybe I'll do division. Division, put that on my lid. It's kind of, I like this color. I need some shimmer here. Ooh, especially on top of that green is actually kind of cool. Okay, and I'm using Poof right underneath the brow bone. The brow bone. Okay, so that's basically all I'm doing for the eyes, but I love this whole collection, you guys. You can always try it at Ulta and then return it if you don't like it. Ulta has a really good return policy. So I have multiple favorites for primer and this one is like my all-time Too Faced Hangover RX such a good primer but also this one the Becca First Light Priming Filter has been my favorite go-to for the year I'm gonna use this one today and I just oh, these two like this is just a good anytime anytime but this is my favorite glowy primer so that counts, right? Normal primer and glowy primer. Oh, it's such a good find. I'm so glad, and I know it's pricey, you guys, and it was hard for me to take the plunge and buy it, but once I did it, oh my gosh, totally worth it because it makes my foundation look so good underneath, like on top of it, and it's just such a good primer. And, uh... Are you guys ready to see my favorite primer of 2018? This should be no surprise to you guys at all. Drum roll, please. Uh, the Dior. I can't, I can't not say this. You guys know I love this and I do recommend it. It's the first thing I recommend to any of my friends, any of my family. If you want to splurge, this is the one. Dior Backstage, I love it so much. It's such a good foundation because it has so many different shades, so many undertones. If you're olive like me, I have the shade 2WO. This is like when I'm olive and my lightest. If I'm like tan, it'd be 3WO. And it's just so good, so, it's like the best olive tone that I've seen that's actually true. And it's my best match ever. And I love it so much so much you guys like so much you can make it sheer you can make it full coverage it just looks good with dry skin with oily skin I don't recommend this with an oil primer though because it doesn't look that good with an oil primer but with a normal primer it looks really really good uh, my favorite way to apply it either a brush or a sponge this uh, it cosmetic love is a foundation brush is my favorite foundation brush ever like number one best ever wait until it comes out every year they come out with one wait until it comes out and then my sigma sponge of course is my favorite sponge of 2018 it was a new discovery and i ever since i got it i haven't used anything else it's just such a good sponge the only thing with dior foundations though is that they do have a scent this one I enjoy the scent. It smells fresh and nice, but if I was pregnant, even though I did try the, no, 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 I tried this after I had the baby. That's right. But if I was pregnant or if you're sensitive to smells, you definitely aren't gonna like this. And it was really hard taking a foundation, you guys, because I was torn between this one and my Smashbox one, because that one is so good. The reason I love this so much is because it looks so much like skin. Like so much. Like so much. I love it so much. And yes, I know, I dot it on my face. I don't think that that's weird at all. I like it because you can build it. It's kind of, if you do, if you do uh, light layers, you can build this to whatever coverage. Like I got high medium here and I have bruising and it looks really good now on that side. That's my favorite of 2018. I mean, just look at my face. Looks so good. Looks so good. All right. Concealer, again, I've tried several, but there's no, like, there's no match to the Born This Way multi-use concealer. I have natural beige. There is no 
competition here. If you have dry under eyes that crease all the time, there's no competition. That is the one you need to try. Uh, it's just really good. I just love it. It gives me that full coverage. If Tarte Shape Tape is too drying for you, which is the case for me, uh, try this one. This one's really good. I love it and I specifically love it when you want something to just for just like a concealer face rather than like foundation on your face. This is a good one. This is a good one. I can use all over my face because my face is dry. This concealer is not drying whatsoever. Okay, powder you guys. Oh, I love this. The cover effects perfect. What is this? Perfect setting powder. I just love it. Also, I would have chosen the Wet n Wild pressed powder, you guys, my drugstore girls, but I don't know that I, I don't think I discovered that in 2018. I'm pretty sure I discovered that way before. Like I had that prior to even moving out here to Rhode Island and it's been a full year already. So I would have chosen that one because I love it. But I honestly, I didn't try. I don't think I tried that one in 2018. And so I love this powder because it's just it literally perfects and if you have dry skin you don't want anything heavy or to make your foundation look cakey you just want something to be light to set your foundation to kind of blur your pores this does a good job of blurring my pores my lines and setting my foundation while being light and not drying out my face or clinging to my dry patches i just really love this it's such a good powder i'm gonna finish my eyes really 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 quickly Okay, let's go to contour, the BH contour palette. Uh, I love it, you guys. No matter what bronzers or contours high-end I use, this is a really good bronzer for your face. And then these two I contour with. And you can even contour with this because it has like an olivey yellowy tone. Can you see that? I love it so much, you guys, so much. And my favorite contouring brush that is a newly discovered here in 2018's Luxie 680 Pro Precision Brush. It's dense, but I use it to just, I just kind of like dab like that. And it is so good. So good. It's just such a good brush. And this powder is amazing. I still haven't tried a contour powder that tops this. And you get so much product, you can use it on multiple people. So if you ever do like your sister's makeup or your friend's makeup or your mom or just random people, this is such a good contour palette. I love it so much. It's so good. And I just kind of dab and move it around to kind of blend. Um, and it blends so beautifully and this brush is absolutely amazing. Yeah, nothing's gonna top this for a contour palette. It's just so good, you guys. I've talked about this so much. You guys knew this was coming. Okay, two bronze. My favorite brush is this Aesthetica P12. It's just such a good bronzing brush. And my favorite bronzer, you guys, you know this, the Too Faced Sweethearts. I did discover this in 2018, um, and I love it. The Sweet Tea oh, from Too Faced, so good. I was telling my sister-in-law that because she was saying that she's been wanting to try it to get it and I told her it took me forever to buy this to splurge on a bronzer from that was like higher end that was at drugstore I am so glad I did and I use it every day and I still haven't even made a dent into it and I love it I don't regret it at all it's my favorite bronzer of all times and of all times of all times that didn't make sense but to me it made sense and I love it so much. So much. I'm so glad that I splurged on that. All right, on to the next. So, blush, you guys. Let me, I just got, gotta tell you guys. This nude blush palette from BH Cosmetic was a very close one because I used all these colors and they're so beautiful and so wearable. Here. But my number one favorite blush this year that I've tried is the Burt's Bee Blush in uh, Bare Peach. So Burt's Bees, 
Bare Peach. It is such a beautiful blush, and I love peachy blushes. That's kind of like my thing. Even if you don't wear a lot, just like a little bit, it makes a difference and kind of makes your face look more alive. And this one isn't just like plain matte. It's like has some sheen to it, but it's not overly shimmery. And I find that on different skin shades and tones, this looks really beautiful and it's really natural and pretty. And Burt's Bees has two other shades if you like don't like the peachy color if you go to the store and you're like, oh, I don't like that. They have several different kinds you can pick from. And the formula is great. It's great priced. Um, and I love it. It's super thin, so it's easy to store. Uh, I just love this so much. And I'll even put it like on my chin. Like I'll put it all over and it just is so... Um, I don't know that I'm going to do a wing liner, but the Sigma Liquid Pen Eyeliner is my favorite for wing liner. It's so easy to use. You can get a really thin line. I'm probably not going to do eyeliner, but I wanted to mention that. Um, oh, the other blush love, you guys, if you have this palette, this palette, and I know I'm supposed to only pick one, but, you know, I'm always going to pick more than one. You know, this is always going to be a long million year old video you know so this is the uh emily edits the wants this prayer best blush in the whole world best blush in the whole world you'll love it use this hobby great contour shade right here hobby so good i mix hobby in midwest here for like a bronze and sometimes like a peachy blush if you just want just midwest it gives you like a bronzy peachy-ish blush Oh heavens, highlight right here. So if you have this, try those out on your face. So good. I wanted to mention it and I mention it every time. Okay, highlight of 2018 that I love. Again, I'm so sorry that there's not a lot of drugstore uh, choices here. <sighs> but I can't not pick this because if I'm being true and honest in my heart, true and honest to the highlight that I love the best, out of this year and that I'm so glad that I got is this baby. The Anastasia Emreezy. Just first off, look at the packaging. Just love it. Uh, Emreezy highlight. This is my favorite of all time, 2018. That's when I discovered it and I love it so much. This highlight is so amazing. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you guys how much I seriously love this. It's so freaking good. So let's put that on. Let's put that on. Oh, there's nothing like it. The only dupe I found was at the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't know if it's still going to be there, but I'll link that video in an iCard. You can check that out. I've never seen a color that comes close to this ever again. But look at it. And that's me applying it kind of heavy handed. You can do it light for every day. I just do like one swipe for every day if you see that this is like too much. But today we're gonna do a ton and it's just so beautiful. The blush with this highlight, just so gorgeous. Anyways, I love this you guys. It is so smooth, so good. I don't think that it really accentuates like texture or anything. I think it's just really, really smooth and it's just, it lasts all day. It's a beautiful color that I find works good on multiple skin shades, skin tones. My facial spray, there is no competition. The MAC Fix Plus is my favorite and I did try it this year in 2018. So uh, I'm gonna spray my face. Mm. My favorite one though is the lavender. The lavender one smells like cologne. It smells so good, so fresh. It's not too overpowering. Really, really nice. I really love it. It's really good. But the eyes, this is my favorite mascara. This is the Superhero, A Cosmetic Superhero Mascara. Such a good one. If you have trouble, like I do, making my lashes look long, uh, this is a really great mascara to try. But this mascara is the bomb. And so I've literally, this is the only mascara that has made me stop wearing lashes and wear mascara every day because if I'm gonna wear mascara I want you to be able to see my lashes and this makes it so I can see my lashes it doesn't smudge during the day 
it's just a really good mascara. Can you guys see how good of a mascara this is? So good, so beautiful. I love it so much. Okay, lashes, you guys. My favorite lashes discovery of this year um, are the Coca ones, and I kind of am torn between these ones and the Icon Taylor ones, but this is the Icon Taylor. These are so old that some of them, they're more sparse than they're supposed to be. Um, and I kept them even though I should have thrown them away just so that I can know so I can repurchase them. But I'm not going to lie, the Coco Risqué lashes are so good and so affordable, you guys. I don't have any more. I have to purchase more. So these are the Allure ones from Coco or from, yeah, from Coco Lashes. I'll link them below. They are really, really great. They are really affordable, like five bucks or something like that, I think. I think. And they're just the risque ones are so freaking good. So good. But uh, all I have is the Allure ones. And uh, these are just like the typical ones that kind of flare out. Um, I'm debating putting those on, but I know I probably should. So I'm going to put them on. These are really gorgeous. Like, can you see that? This side, the only one I have left of this side is one that I accidentally cut too short. So it looks a little bit strange, I feel like. Okay, so last lips, and if I'm being completely honest with myself, this is probably my favorite lippy of the year that I've tried. It's the ColourPop What's Your Sign Cream Lipstick. It's just so good, perfect for every day, for any occasion. I can always pop this on and make it look good. Or my favorite gloss that I'll just wear on bare lips is the Tint Lip Gloss um, from Sigma, the Lip Gloss in Tint. I don't know if they have this or, it was bit, or if it's discontinued. I'll try to link it, but the reason I love this is because it has like, it's like a gel consistency and it's like, it has a light fleshy like pinky color. Look at that. And it's so beautiful on its own on your bare lips. It looks so gorgeous there's like nothing that looks like this so i wanted to tell you guys about it but because it might not be there um this one for sure i love this one so much so i'm gonna put this one on it just looks so good no matter what I look I'm doing even though my eye is kind of a little bit cooler it still looks so good with it and I'm gonna plop a little bit of this gloss on there just because I want to be a little extra why not oh. just makes your lips look juicy turn out pretty good right so that's it, you guys. I hope you really liked this video and you liked all the products that I shared with you guys. Um, let me know if you did and kind of your thoughts. Uh, I will be trying to do more like this month favorites and things that I've loved and discovered um, from this last year, kind of recapping some of the best products that maybe I haven't talked about um, probably in the next couple of videos. Uh, but yeah, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for having the best year, for helping me have the best year. You guys are definitely one of the reasons I had such a good year. I just gotten to know so many of you guys just from all your comments on Instagram, on here on YouTube and I want to continue to get to know you guys so please comment below tell me something about you uh, whether it be makeup related or not uh, I would love to get to know you guys even more you guys are so amazing and you guys just uplift me every time that I read like a comment and whatnot and I'm glad that you guys have been enjoying my channel and my videos but yeah Happy New Year's, you guys I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday time a fantastic new years and that you guys are ready for the new year to like discover new things try new things to do new things to to challenge yourself i hope you guys are excited for this coming year i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye guys